has it been for you, Brian, to sail with a toddler for 17 oh. days on the open ocean? It's been easier than it's expected in some regards. And then there's just some times where like the boat is moving so much that you're just trying to literally survive. And then having to take care of another little human while you can barely take care of yourself is a challenge. After more than a decade of sailing around the world, we thought we'd pretty much seen it all. But becoming parents and raising a tiny captain at sea has both tested us and rewarded us in ways that we didn't know were possible. This is our daughter, Sierra. She's three and a half years old and has lived at sea on our floating home since she was just four months old. 17 days ago, we set off on our biggest undertaking yet as a family, sailing 3,000 nautical miles across the mighty Pacific Ocean from Mexico to French Polynesia. So for today's episode, grab your sippy cup and your favorite stuffed animal and join us for a glimpse into what it's really like to cross an ocean with a toddler. I'm feeling quite defeated today. I have a headache. I slept poorly. I just want to stop moving. It's just so hard to do anything. Even like going to the toilet, it's like a shore. I just want to be still for at least an hour to regain my strength to continue. But it doesn't work that way, does it? The condition had gotten rougher and rougher over the last few days, and as exhaustion and sleep deprivation set in, it became harder to deal with it all, both physically and emotionally. But Sierra would be waking up after my two-hour morning watch finished, so I knew I needed to collect myself. It might not be exactly what you want to do in moments like these, but once I started focusing on the positive, it actually made me feel way better. And then, seeing her smiling and giggling face turned the day around for me completely. Mommy! Hi, Sierra! Mommy! Sierra! It's a little bumpy today again. <laughs> Yay! Hey, don't pick off! Oh, tickle! Hello, tickle! Mwah! Aww! 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 brush the dog's hair? This is not... Ah! Such easy feet. You have such nice hair, Sierra. Yeah. Done! Perfect! Look how pretty you are! Do you want to go out and have some breakfast? Yeah! <laughs> okay, the doggy wants to have some breakfast? Oh my god! <laughs> it's like a roller coaster up here, Sierra. You're such a good sailor, you can sleep through anything. What? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, doggy. Go outside. <laughs> we have a doggy today! Happy? No. <laughs> Do you like sailing? Yeah. And, uh, wee wee. Yeah, wee. You fly a lot in the ocean. Wee. <laughs> Have you been on this boat for 17 days? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going crazy? No. No. <laughs> wow. You get to have both your parents all the time when we're out sailing. Yes. <laughs> oh, the baby attacker. Uh oh. Baby ah. After a few baby kisses and cuddles, and a much rosier outlook on the day, Connor, Hannah and I hatched a little plan to occupy ourselves and see if a few more laughs could boost the morale even more. What is your genius plan, Connor? Well, Brian's been wanting a tuna on the fishing line for a long time. So we're gonna get him his tuna. <laughs> you is... know it's day, what is it, 17? <laughs> Where we're like, hey, hey, hey. Frank. I feel bad. I don't feel bad. I feel kind of bad. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to think it's funny, but we're going to think it's funny. So, <laughs> so Connor's going to prep now. 
and then when Brian wakes up. Shit, he's awake. Good morning. You sleep okay? Yeah, I did. What time is it? I don't know, maybe not 10, 9? This is a egg apology breakfast. All right, are we are we even now? <laughs> Since the grown-ups were busy acting like kids, Sierra thought she would show us how real sailors behave on the high seas. Everyone works hard on this boat, don't they? Yeah, you're working really hard. I'm proud of you. You're getting every single part. I gave Sierra a sponge yesterday. Did you get a sponge? Yeah. Yeah, and you're doing such a good job cleaning. Is it stinky? No. No? It smells okay? Yeah. Smells good? Ah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Do they fit? Yeah. Really? The okay, so should we drink it? Do you want to pour it? And then, can fish have some? out on the ocean for 70 days with Sierra. So I had quite a lot of anxiety towards sailing this long with her and not leaving the boat. I mean, anybody that has been around a three and a half year old knows how much like energy they have and how much they run around. I was definitely nervous about how she would deal with all of that and how I would deal with all of that energy <laughs> and the whole crew really. I remember talking a little bit about it like right before we left and I can insert that here. The first day at sea we left last night. I do feel really nervous about sailing with her for so long. It is kind of crazy when you think about it. It will be what it is I guess. It's not much to do about it. <laughs> Reflecting back on that, my biggest worries was definitely seasickness which 
it was really rough for the first like two or three days and we both me and Sierra were quite seasick but after those three days I haven't given her any seasickness pills and she's been amazing and the conditions now for the last like two days have been really really rough yeah your bed you want to go to your bed right now I will continue this conversation up in Sierra's bed I was also thinking that she would be more needing to like move like going slightly insane which I feel that she hasn't really done that she's been playing quite a lot by herself inside we've been having a lot of tea parties <laughs> we've been having a lot of dance parties outside and she hasn't really had though any of those like really really bad challenging days that I kind of thought we would go through I'm very very impressed with her like super impressed Sierra you've been so good through this whole sailing trip are you excited to get to land again yeah I'm really excited to get to land too oh my god yeah daddy's gonna come too you need to pee pee now yeah <laughs> I feel like this is my life like whenever I film she's like pee pee yeah I need pee pee now which is good Okay, let's go to the party. How has it been for you, Brian, to sail? Oh my gosh. Made a toddler for 17 oh. days on the open ocean. It's been easier than it's expected in some regards. I didn't imagine that she would actually handle the seas so well. Like, I imagined that she would be like flying like all over, and she does better than us. And the boat hits a wave. She like jumps up in her in her room and then she flies and then she crashes down and she goes, Wee! Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that was a big wave. Yeah. But when something goes wrong, then it's a lot more difficult than to see like when she gets frustrated or she wants to play or you know her toys fall over because the boat's rocking, then there's just nothing we can do about that. But I think overall it's been really it's worked out a lot better than I thought. Yeah. My photo. Did you take one too? Yeah. Let me see. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. She's using an old iPod. Yeah. So can you say bye to the sun? No. Can you say bye, sun? Bye bye. Bye sun. bye. See you tomorrow. Stop it, little bit. <laughs> So much clothes we, it, Today we did laundry. It's laundry day. Yeah, it's about eight and it's time to put Sierra to bed. <laughs> sometimes it takes two people, sometimes it takes three people. It's a team. Sometimes it takes one person. We're if all you're brushing lucky. our teeth together. <laughs> the boat is sort of going crazy because we're in the bow. <laughs> we're yeah. launching over waves. So Hannah's brushing her teeth. <laughs> Sierra's brushing her teeth. Huh. Sierra got a special electric toothbrush. Yeah. Water drink. Whoa, watch out for the wave. Look how Kaz is standing. <laughs> one foot race there, one foot race there, one <laughs> race there. <laughs> <laughs> She's got like the three point tripod this stance. This boat is so rough. Yeah. Done. You're done? I have to. No, Hannah needs a spin. <laughs> she has a spin. Yeah. Okay. Sierra. Are you gonna start your delay tactics now? Silly hoot! 
<laughs> okay, into your tent. Into your tent, we go. In, into your cage. That was a pretty smooth putting to bed procedure tonight. <laughs> Some nights are uh, definitely not smooth. <laughs> Looking forward to laying in bed and just like zoning out. The baby's asleep, so time to relax. We spotted a boat. <sighs> the first one since in how long? Probably over 10 days. So it can't be a power call boat. see if they have any great Poupon or something. Pardon me, would you have any great Poupon? But of course. Kaiman, Kaiman, Kaiman. Delos, Delos, 1 6. He's like, it's Kaiman. Delos, Kaiman. Cayman! Oh. We haven't seen a vessel for uh, about two weeks. Probably well, might see in the uh, Marquesas. I guess the race is on. <laughs> Are you guys on a catamaran? No, we're a monohull. It's uh, an ML. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> How about that? We're also in a ML. This is uh, Super Maramu 2000. What, what kind of boat? What kind of ML? Exactly the same moment. Wow! <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, we're hall number what? 303? 303. What, what, what hall number are you? We're 369. Oh, wow. How about <laughs> that? Nice. That is great. Well, the race is really on now. Now we're <laughs> in the same boat at the same place. <laughs> Have a great evening. Say hi to all and uh, catch you in the islands. Too cool. How That's about amazing. That? I'm like, Dude, what are the odds though? Literally, there what are the odds? is another Amel who doesn't know who you are. I know. That is what's weirder. He must not. He must be just playing was, bullshit. I know. Like, tell us, oh, what kind of boat are you? Yeah, he, like, you yeah. don't know what yeah. kind of boat we're on. He knows. Wild that we're gonna be there tomorrow. It's been absolutely amazing, and like I could not have asked for a better crew, a better like we've had really good wind. Sierra's been amazing, but I'm also like really ready to be there. <laughs> 20 days that's a long time to be on the ocean, and not just like for as an adult, but it's a long time to have a toddler on the ocean. <laughs> Super proud of her, I can't say it enough. I just want to like see her reaction when she sees lamb tomorrow. <laughs> she's gonna be like, <laughs> she hasn't like asked for it or anything, but I think she's we're gonna see. I think we're all gonna be like very excited about it. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna continue sitting out here for the remainder of my watch and just like kind of reminiscence on the really good times from the passage and just soak up this last day and just be grateful for everything that we have and for everything that we have achieved and it just feels really cool. A lot of love this morning in my heart. It's good. I've been keeping up with the log, both the ship log and my personal log and just kind of recalling the ups and downs of the trip and things that I want to remember and little details I love to read about later. What are you guys doing? We're flipping the eggs. We still have eggs? Yeah, a lot actually. Yeah, you're helping? Huh? Yeah, she is. She's doing a great job. Okay. So why do we flip the eggs? Well, maybe better you explain. <laughs> I'm not as sure as... <laughs> From what I've heard, if you flip the egg, the yolk doesn't get stuck. Like when the egg starts going bad, the yolk gets stuck to the side of the egg and then it goes bad like real fast. So by flipping it, you're making sure that the yolk doesn't get stuck to the side and so that the egg doesn't yeah. rotten. Yeah, it's actually amazing how much food we still have on the boat. Um, I actually had planned to do this whole video about you know, how we ran out of food and like how we had to eat, you know, just canned food and carbs. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> we still have bread left, which I never thought we would. We have three apples left, potato, carrots that are crunchy, four avocados, one mango. We're making sure that 
all the fruit and veggies that are not in the fridge has like really good airflow as being a key. And then constantly checking if a potato goes bad to take it out. We also made this funny thing where I had planned that we were gonna take a picture of each and every meal to kind of have a log of pictures from like the whole passage, all the dinners. Maybe we can insert them here because I think it's awesome and we've had some really amazing meals. I'm excited to go swimming! Yeah, I was thinking like what I'm looking forward to the most and I think it's definitely to be like still to be able to do normal tasks like showering or putting Sierra to bed and something without being like thrown across the room What are you looking forward to the most, Sierra? Are you excited to go swimming? Yeah! Yeah, that's you, Brian <laughs> Swimming and ice, cold beer or a Captain Strength Roman and Coke we need to start making ice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Connor, how are you feeling? I'm stoked. I cannot believe we're actually going to get to the Marquesas. It's been a dream of mine to, to get there, and I just can't believe it's actually happening. Second everything. Swim and a cold, alcoholic drink. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely looking forward to swimming. And we have been planning on having like a nice breakfast when we arrive. So like pancakes eggs and just like yeah cooking while it's still like this morning i poured a cup of coffee and like not even two seconds later it was all just gone and so it would be nice to just enjoy like a meal a cup of coffee without being tossed across the boat how about a fresh water <laughs> Yeah, Whoa. hiking, hiking. Is that an option? An option. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said that if that was an option. <laughs> Rolling. Rolling? Yep. Well, we finally have our upcycled sail bags back in stock by popular demand. Uh, just before we went on the Pacific Crossing, we decided to replace our main and mizzen. They had many, many tens of thousands of hard ocean miles on them. They were getting a bit tattered. And so instead of tossing them out, we converted them into these amazing upcycled sail bags just for you guys. So each bag has a real piece of sail from Delos and we all signed it and Sierra even made her mark. They're super durable, long lasting and the perfect size beach bag or carry on bag for that sailor on the go. So these bags are very limited because they're made with real sail and we only had so much sail to go around. So if you're looking for an awesome gift for that salty sailor in your life, head on over to svdelos.com forward slash sail bag and grab yours before they're all gone. Thanks very much. Up next on Delos, we wake up to one of the most incredible sights we've ever seen. My heart is pounding. I know. <laughs> like literally so hard. We drop the hook in Fatuhiva after 19 days at sea and set our feet on land sweet land. No. Oh, okay. Did y'all hear about that boat that sunk that was sailing in Europe? Sailing along and started taking on water. They called on the radio and said, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. We are sinking. We are sinking. To their relief, uh, the German Coast Guard came back on the line and said, Ja, this is the German Coast Guard. What are you sinking about? <laughs> Guess what, Kaz? What? Check it out. I just need I just need a good way to do I look do I look real natural mm -hmm. and good? Guess Perfect. what, Kaz? You're supposed to say what? Oh. Cordy. Okay. So each has a Cheese! No, no! Did 
There's no way daddy's butt can fit right there. I'm coming in. Stand up. Okay, I'm ready. It's so uncomfortable. Oh, did you take it? Oh, we look oh, so good. Oh, does it look good? Yay! <laughs> Sierra. It's getting squished. Oh my god, I need to move. Ow, ow. Uh -oh. My butt. That's what. Hi. Oh. <laughs> 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 